Hello everybody, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel for the love of beauty. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you have watched any of my videos and you like this channel, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button so that you will not miss any of my videos. Thank you all so much for tuning in. But I have something for you guys. Bam! I am now engaged. Come back so that I can tell you the story. Hello you guys. Thank you for coming back. But I would like to tell you my story and how this engagement came about. So, you guys, you know I've been on YouTube um since 2009. I've joined 2007. Now, I'm tell you about my life. 2003, I separated from my husband. 2006, I divorced my husband. Yes. And I've been alone until now. But between 2006 till 2011. I have dated a couple of men. Yeah, I did a video earlier um, on my story. But instead of going through all the details, I am going to read to you guys what I've written on Facebook. If you're not friends with me on Facebook, then you don't know how I've written it up. I am going to go ahead and read it to you guys. And um, I don't want to go into a long story because I did the video earlier and then I took it down. Um, I did not post it. So I'm going to shorten it. The video that I um, had was about an hour long. And I don't want to, you know, make that video long. So it's going to be a short one. Um, this video... It's going to be a short video because I don't have to go through the details or anything like that. But I do want to share with y'all um, how the engagement came about. So, like I said earlier. So, let me read to you guys what I've written on Facebook. Um, to God be the glory. First thing, Wallace and I would like to thank each and every one of you for your likes, your hearts, comments, compliments, texts, inbox messages, phone calls, and in person. Most of you know that I have been alone for years. Yes, years. I was tired of being used in lustful ways and was sick of the headaches, heartaches, and depression over a man. Now, I know I'm not the only one. Okay? I'm sure you're tired too. So years ago, I made a promise to God that I would not date and I will be celibate. Yes. Since 2011 is when I made that promise to God that I will stay celibate and I will not date. So years ago, I made a promise to God that I would not date and I wouldn't be celibate until marriage. Yes, I am still celibate. We are still celibate. Yes. I asked the Lord to help me, and he did just that. Now, when you make a promise to God, ask him to help you. Take those urges away, and he will. I asked the Lord to help me, and he did just that throughout the years. If you ask, yes, I have been tempted by the devil. But I made him out of a lie. The men 
that I have dated between 2006 and 2011 tried to come back in my life. But I made the devil out of a lie. Told them I'm not the same Pam that they had back then. Okay? There were people to tell me that my standards was too high. Men and women. And to step out of my comfort zone and just date, maybe I would find a man. I didn't want to be introduced to a man by someone. For one, I wasn't looking. And I knew what I promised God. This thought always crossed my mind. I don't want to disappoint God. I depended on God and he is a perfect matchmaker. I depended on God for everything. I knew what I promised God. That I would not step out of my comfort zone until he sent that man to me himself and to let me know if he's the one. I asked the Lord to send me the man to me and let me know that he would be the one. Out of all the men that I said no and turned down, one man stood out. God was directing me and God did the talking through me. Yes, he did the talking through me. This one man stood out. Out of all the men that I let down and said no to. This man reached out to me through Facebook. Yes, I would get messages from every other man. Want to get to know me, want to take me out. Every man that entered my inbox, I told him no. Stop inboxing me. Or I would lie and say I'm dating someone just to get them off my back. Or to say I'm married just to get them off my back. They was coming. From Facebook. In public. Out in opening. Yes. They was getting in touch with me. But this one man stood out. When I saw his profile. I said, well, hello there, Mr. You know, I don't say his name, but I probably did say his name earlier. But, um, but yes, that was a cue right there. The Lord was telling me, remember him because he's going to come back after the fact. After the fact, this man came back. This one man stood out. Okay, let me see. One man stood out. God was directing me and God did the talking through me. Y'all, I was struggling because of the fact that I've been alone for so long and I didn't know how to open up to this man. God had to open me when he was the one that shut me down. This man claimed me from the very beginning. This man was very uh, persistent. Um, he just continued to message me. I was polite. I wasn't mean to him. But the other ones I was. God was directing me. If God wasn't directing me, I would have told him no. But this man was very persistent, y'all. He kept inboxing me. He gave me his number, but I never did call him. Okay, you guys, my camera had shut off earlier. Um, I believe I stopped that um, I was struggling. I was struggling because I was shut down for so long and I did not know how to open myself up to this man. And I had to pray for myself. I had to ask God if he's the man that you're sending to me, open me up, allow my heart to open. This man is claiming me. 
and he has claimed me. He prayed for me. When he got in touch with me, he said he prayed for me. And I'm like, really? You know, mm, thank you. Prayer is much needed over here. But I didn't get what he was saying. Until he said he would like to get to know me better. And he said that I was that special woman. And I had no idea in the beginning that he was talking about me being his lady, his wife. Therefore, he found me. Okay. <clears throat> but I had to pray. And when I gave in, it's been a while. It's had uh, it took me some time to give in. And I said, "Okay, but you got to allow me some time. Allow me some time to open up to date again. Allow me just allow me just give me some time, please." For some reason, I said yes to him. God was talking through me, y'all. Because other words, I would have turned him down. Um, let me see. And as I was saying, um, um, this man claimed me from the very beginning and I was unaware. I had no idea that he wanted me. You know, small talk at first, but he was like, I would like to get to know you better. So, that, when I realized that, okay, everything that I asked God for, this man has it all. Everything. Plus, he gave me a bonus that I knew for sure that it was God. A bonus that made me realize that it was him. It's him. And I've been saying throughout the years, Lord, send me my Boaz. Where is my Boaz? And the Lord sent me my Boaz. One, I asked God to send me a man that is older than me. But he sent a man much older than me. This man is 16 years older than me. And I used to think like, in the beginning, what am I going to say to this man? What are we going to talk about? You know, but when God put two and two together, trust me, you will be comfortable and you will be able to talk about any and everything. Y'all, um, we are now engaged. This has been, okay, it's been October 18th on a Friday when he proposed to me. Yes. Because of my promise to God, look at the results to staying faithful. We are now engaged. The ring is a princess cut diamond mounted on a white gold ring. As a result of staying as your reward, if you stay true and faithful to God, he will send you your Boaz. Y'all, I just wanted to share with y'all, letting you know that I am now engaged. Getting ready to, we set a date, and it will be February. It will be in February. Uh, we getting prepared. It's not going to be a big 
elegant elegant wedding but it's going to be a wedding it's going to be elegant but simple i finally got my boaz y'all and i am so happy this man has made me the most happiest woman that i have been in a very long time a lot of people have been saying girl you're glowing You're glowing, you know. So, that's what love will do to you. Y'all, ladies, please wait. Give yourself to God. Pray to Him and tell Him what you want in a man. Ask Him to send you that man. I did. And I've waited. Patiently. And God sent him. He sent them. When you least know it. That he's coming. He's coming. Trust me. He's coming. I, used, I was saying. Lord you sent him at the wrong time. No. God's timing is not your timing. Mm -mm. No. And he will talk for you. He will talk through you. Even when you ain't ready, you think you're not ready. God will make time. Trust me. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let you guys know the reason that I have not been consistent on YouTube. But I will be back. I'm just a little busy right now trying to prepare for a wedding. And um, you will get a chance to meet my fiance soon. And um, he's going to have a, a YouTube channel as well when we get together. He does radio broadcasting, The Spirit Speaks ministry. You can listen to him. Um, if you download iHeartRadio and go to the radio station, JKX 102, and you will hear him every Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock. So, listen to Brother Wallace Jackson. That's his name. So, tune in. So, you guys, stay tuned for some DIYs on some bridal stuff. Bridal stuff. Yeah, bridal stuff. So, just stay tuned. So, come back. You'll never know what I may have for you next. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. And I accept all you guys' congratulations. You're happy for me in advance. Thank you. Thank you all so much in advance. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.